Kids, where faith and fun come alive. I'm with my friend Sunny Pianji here, and she has something special just for you, explorers. If today is your birthday, happy birthday from the M Kids. God loves me, God loves you, He can give you anything too. Awesome! So do we have any new explorers? If you're joining us for the first time, we'd like you to tell us your name. So just ask any adult you're with to help you type your name into the comments. We'd like to get to know you. All right? And now it's time for a Bible adventure to begin. And we always started by learning about giving. So what is Jesus telling us about giving today? There's only one place to find out that from, and that's the Bible. I hope you guys have your Bibles with you. I'm just going to reach out for mine and reach out for yours too, all right? All right, and we're going to be learning from the book of Acts. Remember that? Go to the book of Acts in chapter 20 and verse 35. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, 35. And these are the words of Jesus. What is Jesus saying? You should remember the words of the Lord Jesus. It is more blessed to give than to receive. That's what Jesus said. It's more blessed to give than to receive. What does that mean? It means when you share your toys, there's more blessings that come from that than from when you receive toys from someone else. That's amazing, right? So even when we share our smile with someone who is sad, there's more blessings that comes from that than when someone else smiles at us. So there's more good that comes from our giving than when we receive. Both are good, but when we give, it is even better. That is what we're learning today about giving. So, if you have any money that mommy or daddy has given you to share with the church, you can ask them to help you to share following the instructions that are showing on the screen right now. And now we're going to continue our Bible adventures for today. All right, cooking, cooking, cooking. Chef Banda loves cooking, 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 cooking. Ah, boys and girls, it's time for the lesson. Okay, so today we're going to be learning about, can you guess what we're learning about today? Oh, you forgot that? Okay, we don't know? Okay, so today we're going to be learning that when we make Jesus our friend, he remains a friend forever, okay? All right? And that never changes. Okay, so we're going to watch a video. Are you guys ready for the video? Okay. So let's go and watch the video as I cook. All right, let's go. Stories of the Bible. God is with us. This is Jesus. hey -o. Jesus is the Savior of the world and the Son of God. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing. And they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb, and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. For he was risen. He was alive. Woohoo! Huh? Hey -o. Ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven 
and be with God forever. Jesus told his disciples that he did all the things that God had told everyone that he would do, and the disciples understood what he was saying. Yep, that makes sense. He told them that he would send the Holy Spirit, just as God had promised to be their helper. Sounds good. After Jesus had spent 40 days with the disciples and appeared to many people, hey, that's it. he led the disciples to a place called Bethany. Jesus blessed the disciples and told them to go out and tell the whole world about him and the good news of forgiveness and make disciples of them. Then he said, be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Then Jesus was taken into heaven to sit at the right hand of God. Not long after that, the Holy Spirit did come to the disciples to be their helper. The disciples knew that God would truly be with them always. And the Holy Spirit is still with us today, for Jesus promised that he would be with us to the end of the age and he is. Hi, boys and girls. Check Banda over here, and it stands for the memory verse. Okay, so today's memory verse comes from 1 John chapter 5, verses 11 and 12. Okay, get your Bible, boys and girls, and read with me. Okay, so it says, And this is what God has testified. He has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. So whoever has God's Son has His life. Whoever does not have His Son does not have life. So boys and girls, if you make Jesus your friend, you have God's life. Okay? All right. Bye-bye. All right, boys and girls, we have come to a very important time in our lesson today. We're going to ask Jesus to be our friend. Are you ready? If you have never done this ever before, today is your very first time. You're going to pray with me. Is that fine? Let's pray, okay? Let's put our hands together. Say, Jesus loves me and I love Jesus. Let's pray. Repeat after me. Say, Dear God, I thank you that you gave your son, Jesus Christ, to die for me. And because Jesus died for me, he has washed away all of the bad things that I have done. I choose today to believe in you, Jesus, that each bad thing that I have done is now washed away. I thank you, God, that I am now part of your family. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. If you prayed that prayer, guess what? You are now a child of God from today until forever. Isn't that exciting? So if you prayed that prayer with us, boys and girls, we are ready and willing. We want to share this book with you. It's called Growing with Jesus. Can you say it with me? Growing with Jesus. If you made just your friend today, send us an email of your name and how old you are to the email that's appearing on the screen. Ask somebody who can do that for you, do that to help you, and we'll send this book right over to you. Okay, great. Other than that, we have some dancing music for you in the description and some activities for you to do. If you want to do those, feel free to link, to click on the links that are there in the description. Okay, boys and girls, that's all for today. We love you and we will see you next Sunday. Bye.